Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Dummy Don. Don Lemonade. Um, it seems like he is not finding success at his new show. Okay. He claimed that he actually got a promotion. <laughs> he got promoted to CNN's morning show, which has been rebranded as CNN this morning. Now, this is happening as a part of CNN's attempt to become a relevant news network again. All right, a credible news network. Um, they decided to kick Don Lemon off primetime, okay, late night, and they put him on the morning show. Obviously, the dude got demoted, right? Because his ratings for his show, uh, CNN Tonight with Don Lemon, or Don Lemon Tonight, whatever you want to call it, uh, those were terrible, right? It was terrible. He was getting beat out by Fox News reruns, okay, <laughs> during his primetime specials, right? So, CNN had to demote the guy. And I want to talk about the ratings and what I think is happening to CNN and why they can't find success if they don't try a little bit harder to once again become a credible network. Uh, but first, I actually want to talk about this clip from Don Lemon's new show in which he gets visibly upset with Katie Hobbs, who is running for governor in Arizona as a Democrat against Carrie Lake. Uh, he gets visibly upset with Katie Hobbs for refusing to debate Carrie Lake. And I want to talk about this clip real quick. Take a look. Why not debate your opponent? If you believe your opponent is, you know, has issues and is spreading conspiracy theories uh, about a stolen election and so mm -hmm. on, and it's not being truthful with the, the people of Arizona, why then not get on the debate stage and, and debate her? You know, not only is Carrie Lake, has she centered her entire platform around this election denialism, um, I didn't want to give her a bigger stage to do that. But additionally, she has shown that she's not interested in having any kind of substantive conversation. Um, she's only interested in creating a spectacle. But and I didn't you, want to be. If you were in the same space with her, wouldn't you be? Wouldn't it be easier to knock it down in front of everyone, in front of the most people? Because you're not stopping her from spreading yeah. whatever you believe that you know, she is I spreading by not debating her. She can go on television. She can talk about it. She can go in front of the the people of Arizona every single day and talk about it. But you're not confronting her on it. And it seems like it would be an easy fix if you stood up on a debate stage and, and confronted her about these issues. Look, we're six days out from the election and our campaign strategy is our campaign strategy. So we're moving forward. I'm continuing to make my case to the voters of Arizona, uh, whether or not uh, we debated in this race is not going to decide this election. So, um, you know, I just, we made the decision, didn't want to be a part of her spectacle. And she's not, uh, she, she won't answer these tough questions um, to, to real reporters. She only talks but, to fake But Secretary, news it's not just her that you won't debate. You also did not debate your Democratic primary opponent, Marco Lopez. Why? And have you ever, I was, I, have you I ever? I was miles ahead of him. I was miles ahead of him in the race and won handily. It's a totally different situation here. Well, it's it's not debating your opponent again. Have you ever debated your opponent running for political yes, office? I have. Yes, I have. Why do you think it wasn't important for people to see a debate in this election for governor at all? Uh, in the primary, I was focused on the general election. I was miles ahead of my op opponent. I won handily. Um, it wasn't an issue. Um, we're six days from the election and, uh, this is, this is the decision we made. So boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's a terrible answer, right? That's probably one of the worst responses I've ever seen to an interview in my whole life. Okay. She says that, look, I don't want to debate Carrie Lake because I don't want to essentially give her a platform for her lies. Okay. Even though, uh, as Don Lemon pointed out, <laughs> Right. In a rare situation where he actually makes sense, he makes good points. He says, well, if she's lying so much, why don't you get on stage and debunk the lies in front of the world? <laughs> right. And the problem with Katie Hobbs, which is a problem that a lot of Democrats have, is that they don't want to accept when talking points are not working. <laughs> right. When the narrative that Katie Hobbs is trying to push here, which is that, well, I don't want to get on stage with Carrie Lake because I don't want to help her create a spectacle. She's all about creating a spectacle, right? She's trying to do this, oh, I'm taking the high road thing. And it's like, no, that's not how people see this. People don't see you as taking the high road. They actually see you as a coward. That's what they see you as. You're not taking the high road 
When you say, oh, I'm not going to debate my opponent because I'm above talking to this person. It's like, no, you can't come out here and say this person is a liar, that she's a threat to democracy, and then not get on stage and refute the claims that you claim are a threat to democracy. That doesn't make sense. You're just afraid to debate. And I wish she would just come out here and say, look, I'm not a good debater. I'd be more than happy to sit down and have a regular conversation, but I'm really not trying to get on stage and, and debate. I think if she actually did that and she compromised and said, look, let's just make it a town hall style conversation. That's not really a debate as much as just, again, it's just a conversation like she claims she wants. I think that she wouldn't be hurt as bad. She wouldn't look as bad. But again, she's not interested in a conversation. OK, she wants to take the I'm too good to talk to this person route and it's just not working. And I think what's happening here, the hilarious part, this is why I played this clip. They're pissed, right? People like Don Lemon, all those liberal anchors on CNN, they're pissed because they know that one of the reasons why Katie Hobbs is now essentially, it looks like she's probably going to get blown out by Carrie Lake if, if it continues on this pace, is because she won't debate, right? Even though I think she will lose either way, one of the reasons why she's losing is because she won't debate Carrie Lake. And I think people in the mainstream of media are getting pissed because they're like, look, you're, you're allowing carry late to win right because you are checking it out you two kitty cat right to actually step on stage i mean this woman won't even be in the same vicinity right she won't even be in the same facility building with carrie lake she won't come anywhere near carrie lake like carrie lake is gonna harm her or something right again it's truly 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 fascinating stuff to watch i mean i'm just saying right i'm just saying i i think that um when the mainstream liberal media is calling you out as a coward, right? When you have Don Lemon calling you out, that's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> that's really embarrassing. Just as embarrassing as Don Lemon's ratings <laughs> on his new show, right? His big promotion, CNN This Morning, right? With the all-star lineup. Oh, man. Let, let's read about this because I think I know what's going on at CNN. I think I know why their ratings are so low, okay, and what they need to do to turn it around. But they got to be more aggressive than what they're doing right now. So let's read here. CNN's new morning show, CNN This Morning, officially launched on November 1st to brutally lackluster ratings. Again, this is during the midterms. This is peak political season. This is where everybody is tuning in to politics. Everybody's tuning in to politics. So everybody's getting a boost and <laughs> CNN is still struggling. Despite considerable promotion and an all-star trio of new hosts, the debut of the new show was actually down from the recent average of New Day. It's a rating challenge predecessor okay so essentially the show got worse with don lemon the ratings went down when they put don lemon on this show cnn this morning on tuesday drew three hundred eighty-seven thousand total viewers and seventy-one thousand viewers in the advertiser coveted 25 to 54 age demographic this was down from the 404,000 total users and 78,000 demo viewers cnn's new day average in october CNN this morning replaced New Day, which long struggled in the ratings since it was created by former CNN boss Jeff Zucker in 2013, never reaching the audience of its rivals Morning Joe on MSNBC and Fox and Friends on Fox News. This morning's debut marks a rough start for the program as it was doubled by its MSNBC competition and more than tripled by Fox and Friends. Fox and Friends ended October by prolonging its winning streak as the most watched morning show on cable news two consecutive months in both the demo and total viewers. Fox and Friends averaged 1.4 million total viewers in October and 211,000 demo viewers Morning Joe, meanwhile averaged 883,000 total viewers and 100,000 in the demo. The network's new boss, Chris Lynch, who has a track record of success with morning shows, made reimagining the ratings belligerent breakfast program his first priority when he took the reins earlier this year. Lynch even moved network star Don Lemon out of prime time to create the new hosting team. I don't think you can call Don Lemon a star anymore, right? If he's a star, he's a fallen star. Uh, while Lynch has kept rating expectations low for the new program, CNN heavily promoted the show before its launch and touted its new early morning star power. The new morning show host Don Lemon, Poppy Harlow, and Caitlin Collins joked on Tuesday morning about their new very early morning schedule and made clear that the show would be a mix of news, entertainment, and culture as billed by the network. All right, so here's the thing. 
this show is still struggling. The reason why this show is still struggling is, is simple. It's because CNN still lacks ideological diversity. They're still trying too hard to compete with MSNBC when they really should be trying to com compete more with Fox News. And the reason why is because Fox News doesn't have competition. Let's be real. Fox News' ratings are very high because of things I think they do right. But a lot of it can be attributed to the fact that they just don't have competition. Okay. I mean, Newsmax is kind of competition, but that's not on everybody's, you know, cable package, right? That's not on, you know, mainstream cable or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So that there's not really that much competition. CNN needs to hire people that are MAGA, right? They need to hire Trump supporters. People who actually represent a large portion of this country, they need to hire them and to have their perspective on the network. That is what they're missing. When you say that, look, we're not going to have the views of a large amount of people in this country, you're alienating a large demographic of people. Because Fox News has all perspectives. I mean, think about it. They got Democrats that come on. They got never Trumpers. They got Trumpers, right? They got everybody, okay? I mean, they even got a, a, a transgender, right? They got Caitlyn Jenner. The point is not that CNN should go out there and hire a bunch of transgender and gay people. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that even though Fox News is right-leaning and conservative, they still have a diverse set of points of view, not just faces, but actually a diversity of ideological perspectives. And that is important. There's many things to complain about Fox News. But I'm just saying, CNN does not represent all perspectives. And they need to just bite the bullet and just say, you know what? We're going to have a couple shows that are going to be dedicated to trying to get some of that Fox News audience. Right? Actually make the network more neutral. Because right now, it's, it's still very Democrat-leaning. Yeah, sometimes they go out to Biden. But... You really don't have that perspective of a large amount of people in this country that you actually really do need and that you should cater to as a network that claims to be unbiased, right, and neutral. And I think that's the problem. I think as long as they continue to say, you know what, we're not going to include people who support Trump, we're not going to have that perspective on our network, you're never going to beat MSNBC and you're not going to compete with Fox News. You always beat a little brother that gets beat up on in the ratings every single week. I mean, it's really that simple. I think that's what's actually going on with CNN at this point. They need more ideological diversity. Making Don Lemon say things that make sense every now and then, every once in a blue moon, that ain't going to cut it, right? That's not going to cut it. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.